this isn't necessarily a question here that I posted to the screen, but we've got uh, Big Hud here, who's basically, I think, making a, a just a comment uh, on what will be more of an impact in regards to the players that have already been on campus. And it, of course, depends on the player, depends on the positional unit. But some of these players that have been waiting for their opportunity or pushing for their opportunity that have been, that have been on campus for a year or two or three versus this influx of the 2022 class and whether those guys will immediately seize playing time and starting jobs. Yeah, no, I think it's a good point, Mark. You've, you've got Oklahoma's not devoid of talent um, on the roster as, as Big Head has, has represented here. Um, not devoid of, of talent. I think that the talent that Oklahoma's been able to bring in here, you, you know, with the eighth rank recruiting class in the 2022 cycle, along with um, the, the transfer portal guys that Oklahoma ha, ha, has got. And interestingly enough, it's, it's, it's mentioned there at all levels. Um, you know, when you go to the offensive line and then the, the secondary and then the um, and then the defensive line, they, they, they've got good um, aspects of, 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 of all those uh, all those players. But, yeah, Oklahoma's got some got some kids um, at all of those levels that, that are going to continue to play and, and going to have to be a factor. Um, you know, I think particularly on the when you talk about the offensive line, it's an area that Oklahoma it's it's probably the biggest wild card for the from an offensive perspective early on this year is just to see how good and how much how improved can this offensive line be. Um, obviously, it's it's the same. Uh, we still you know still got Bill Beanbow running the running the ship from an offensive line coach, but you know you got a, a little bit different emphasis with uh, Jeff Levy as the offensive coordinator. A little bit different emphasis um, in terms of strength and conditioning. Um, program to, to get those guys guys up there, but yeah, you've got some you've got some kids littered on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, more specifically, um, you know, when you when you when you look at um, you know some of those guys that maybe played a little bit last year, but are going to be asked to be um, in a lot bigger roles. Uh, Josh Ellison is a, a guy that kind of comes to mind from the defensive line. You've got um, you know all all across the board. You've got guys that didn't play an extreme prominent role, but they will get an opportunity to, uh, to challenge it. We'll get into that more when we, obviously when we, um, when we preview the, those position groups um, on the defensive side of the ball, but I think it's a good Oklahoma has a good mix mark of, of, of kids that have been in the program a few years that will have that opportunity to step up versus some of those kids that will, you know, will, that, that, that are freshmen or, you know, uh, transfers are coming in that will challenge the, challenge those and have good, healthy competition at those spots.